Welcome to the second video in our Give It Up for Lent series. I'm Julie Baker. And I'm Beth Kerr. And we're from Trinity United Church in Portage La Prairie. This Lent, we are inviting people to give up something for Lent, not as an act of self-sacrifice, but as an opportunity for abundant living. So you might be asking yourself, what can I give up for Lent that's gonna actually feel like a good thing? We have a few suggestions. You might give up something that is distracting you from what matters most. Lots of good things in our lives like social media or work or TV, or even sometimes things like cleaning or exercise can become a distraction. If you feel like the time or energy you spend on one aspect of your life is out of proportion to how important it is, then you might wanna give it up for part or all of Lent. For example, you could take one weekly day of complete rest with no work, or set a curfew on the use of your cell phone, or you could hire someone to clean your house for Lent so you don't have to. You might also consider giving up an attitude or a habit or a thought pattern that has you feeling stuck. Perhaps you find yourself feeling negative. Well, why not give up complaining for Lent? Maybe you're not trying new things because you're afraid of failing. Well, why not try one new thing a day or a week and try not to worry about how well it works out? Maybe you want to let go of some regrets. Why not write a regret on a piece of paper each day and then shred or burn that paper as a way of letting go of its hold on you? There might also be something you want to try for your own benefit or for the good of the world, something you just haven't got around to. Maybe you want to give up disposable coffee cups or processed food. Maybe you want to figure out what it's like to socialize without alcohol. Perhaps caffeine is giving you the jitters and you want to go caffeine free. So put your thinking cap on and imagine what might be life giving for you to give it up for Lent this year. <laughs>